Chat GPT. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Hell no. For the past month, a new AI chatbot called ChatGPT has been drawing a lot of attention. Official intelligence bot ChatGPT coming for your job. But I want to talk about uh, ChatGPT. Mm. How many of you clap? How many of you know what ChatGPT is? Because I don't know if you've used this chatbot, but it is insane. We're kicking things off with an ad that I created using chat GPT. Everyone is talking about it. This is really huge and this one is actually a game changer. It is terrifying at the start but after I tried it I think it's gonna make us more creative and as well awesome. In this course you will learn everything that you need to get started with chat GPT. So let's get started. But first some coffee. Ready. So the first question is, what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is cutting-edge AI chatbot that can understand the nature language. It is created by OpenAI. OpenAI is a startup founded in 2015 in San Francisco by Elon Musk and other AI experts, but Elon left three years later. And currently the CEO of OpenAI is Sam Altman. ChatGPT was released in November 2022 and it broke all the records by crossing 1 million users in just 5 days. If you compare to other platforms, it took Netflix 3.5 years to get 1 million users, and Facebook almost a year, and even Instagram 2.5 months. Alright, so ChatGPT is designed to have a conversation with you. It can understand your requests, but what makes it special is that you can make up follow-up questions, and even it admits mistakes and reject inappropriate requests. There are just endless ways on how to use ChatGPT. For example, it can help you with writing books, blogs, and emails. It can correct grammar and summarize difficult texts into simple explanations or bullet points. It can even help you to find a job by creating cover letters, resume, and even it can act as interviewer to practice for job interviews. And if you are a YouTuber, it can help you to find the next video idea and write a script for that video. And not only that, if you are a programmer, it can generate code for you, find bugs and fix your code. And for example, if there is a piece of code that you don't understand, you can ask it and it gonna explain everything in details. As I said, endless use cases. And now let's understand how ChatGPT works. ChatGPT uses a type of artificial intelligence called the language model. It is like computer program designed to understand the human language. So ChatGPT spends a lot of time and resources training and training on massive amount of data from the internet, like websites, books, articles, news, conversations on Twitter, discussions on Reddit, and any other kind of text available on the internet. And that's all to understand the patterns and structures of the human language. This includes understanding the relationship between words, the grammar, and the meaning of the words in different contexts. So you might ask now, why ChatGPT want to learn all of that? Well, the answer is simple. ChatGPT want to understand the real meaning behind our text and then generate response in a human-like way. So the main goal is to make the interaction between human and robots as natural as it could be. And ChatGPT not only learned about the natural languages like English, but it also learned programming languages. That means ChatGPT was trained on billions of lines of codes publicly available on GitHub. So ChatGPT already learned languages like Python, HTML, SQL, JavaScript, and more. That means ChatGPT has different models. The ChatGPT3 model is used to understand and generate natural languages like English, and the Codex model is used to understand programming languages and codes like Python. Alright, so now let's take a moment to understand what is the meaning of the letters GPT. G stands for generative. It means that the data model can create new content. P stands for pre-trained. It means that the data model already trained on a large amount of text data before even being put to use. And T stands for transformer, which is type of neural networks used in ChatGPT. Once you start using it, you will notice how quickly it processes your prompts and generate response in matter of seconds. And that's all thanks to the advanced neural network architecture. There is one question that is terrifying people, is ChatGPT gonna take over my job? Well, after I tried the tool, 
I think as IT experts, we're gonna be fine. No, not only fine, we're gonna be more creative and it's gonna impact how we do our job and it's gonna make it more efficient. And even if it takes away some types of jobs, if we learn something from the history, always new jobs will be created. Well, at the end, whether you like it or not, ChatGPT is here to stay. And I'm really interested to know, what do you think about it? So let me know in the comment below. All right, so with that, we have covered the theory part behind the ChatGPT. Let's move on and see ChatGPT in action. All right, so now let's go to our browser and go to chat.openai.com. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And if you get something like this, it's gonna mean that the servers are full and you have to try later, since currently there are millions of people want to try this service. But if you are lucky like me, then we can log in and sign up. And if you don't have already a login to OpenAI, you can select to sign up. It's gonna take only one minute, it's really easy. So let's sign up. You can use an email address or your Google or Microsoft account. I'm gonna sign up using the email address and then we're gonna give it a password. Once you give those informations, you will get an email in your mailbox to verify your email address. Like this one here, then just click over this green box. This can activate our account and then it's gonna take us back to OpenAI. Here we have to fill a few details. It only needs the first and last name. Let's do that and then select continue. This process is two steps verifications. That means we have to enter our phone number. So let's do that. And after that, I'm gonna receive a code on my phone number and I'm gonna put it over here. And once we do that, we are finally in ChatGPT and we can start using it. As you saw, it's currently free. We didn't add any payment methods, which is really nice. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna take you on a quick tour in the user interface of ChatGPT. It's very simple. We're gonna start on the left side over here. And if you select the new chat, you're gonna start a new conversation with ChatGPT. And below that, we can change the UI mode either to dark or light. I choose always dark mode. It's better for my eyes and less blue lights. And below that, we have the OpenAI Discord server that we can join. Wow, we have already million and a half members. That's really crazy. What we can do over here joining Discord is that you can share your feedback with the community and you can as well engage with discussions about OpenAI with other members. All right, so now let's go back to ChatGPT. You can find over here a link where you can find informations about the updates, releases, FAQ from ChatGPT team. And the last thing on the left side, you can log out over here. All right, so now let's go to the middle and we have over here some informations, like it explains how to enter interact with ChatGPT and then we have some informations about the capacity of ChatGPT like here it says ChatGPTs actually remember what you said in the previous conversations and it allows you to do a follow-ups and it tells you as well that the AI is trained to decline any inappropriate requests. And the last info on the right side is tell us about the limitations in ChatGPT. The answer might be incorrect or biased informations. And here it says that the AI is trained on data up to 2021. That means anything after 2021, the AI has less information and knowledge about the events and it still have to learn it. All right, so now we come to the most important element in the UI. It is the input field over here. And here you can start writing message, a query, a prompt to start a conversation with the AI and once we hit go the AI gonna analyze our prompts and gonna respond with a text so now let's have our first prompt over here who are you then let's go all right so as you can see we got a response and now you might say okay this is not really the answer that I'm looking for and here you have two options either you're gonna select over here regenerate response and the AI gonna generate another one like this and you can switch between the response like this between the first and the second using those arrows and now if you want to evaluate this response you can give it a thumb up or thumb down with a feedback and this of course gonna help the AI to train and improve all right so that was the first option to regenerate the response the second option over here you can add a follow-up prompt let's try this explain it again like I'm 10 years old all right so this is really amazing right and we can add another prompt in this conversation and we're gonna say explain it like I'm five years old 
This is really mind blowing. This is the first time that we have a chat like this with an AI. It is so small that all the follow up answers are based on the whole conversation and it understands the whole context. Be aware if you start a new chat over here from the left side, it will not remember the current conversation. Each new chat it's like a new page. Like all those conversations are independent from each others. And beneath it here on the left side you can start seeing all different conversations that we started with ChatGPT. So you can revisit it again and continue the chat with the AI. Alright so with that we have created brand new account in OpenAI and we understood the main element of the user interface in OpenAI. All right, so now I'm gonna start with the first prompts where I'm gonna ask the hardest question that I face on a daily basis. What should I eat today? So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to give me some ideas on what to eat today, especially that I'm trying to lose some weight. So let's ask ChatGPT the following. List five dishes that I can eat without carbs because I am trying to lose some weight. Let's go. Okay, so this is really amazing. ChatGPT gave us five dishes and it considered as well that I'm trying to lose some weight. So as you can see, there is like everywhere vegetables. But now for me, the most interesting one is the first option because I really like chicken. I think in this course, you will learn a lot of things about me. And here exactly the magic of ChatGPT where things get more interesting, where I'm gonna ask a follow-up question about the option number one. I'm gonna go and ask the following question. I'm gonna say, create a shopping list for the first option. So as you can see over here, I didn't write the full text of grilled chicken or fish with vegetables. I say just the first option. And that's because the AI understand the whole conversation and remember the old answers, which is really cool. But now I want to be more specific because here in the first option, you can see, okay, there is chicken and fish and I don't want to buy fish in the shopping list. So I'm gonna be more specific and say with grilled chicken. Let's go. This is really beautiful. So now we have a shopping list for my meal. And not only that, ChatGPT add as well at the end some context. So here we have a note about the shopping list. And that's always what ChatGPT tried to do is that to add some recommendations, warnings, ideas, which really makes the conversation with the AI, the ChatGPT, like a human. All right, so let's say that I bought all those stuff. The biggest problem is that's how I'm gonna cook it. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT the follow-up question. The question is very simple. What are the cooking steps I love it so as you can see ChatGPT gave us a step-by-step -step guide on how to cook this dish and as usual the AI at the end gave us some like more context and this is exactly the difference between ChatGPT and Google in ChatGPT we can have follow-up questions and the AI gonna understand the whole conversation and the whole context and you feel that all the questions and everything is connected to each other but in the other side in Google each question gonna be handled individually so as you can see with the help of the ChatGPT I went went from not knowing what I'm gonna eat today to have a plan and guide step by step on what to do in just few seconds. And next we're gonna start our deep dive in the use cases of ChatGPT. All right guys, I'm really interested to hear your opinion about this topic ChatGPT and how you are using it in your daily basis. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.